Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, we bought, fought a tentacle monster, apparently, and uh, got our third party member back into our party, that being the king of Virgo Castle himself, Edgar. And now we're apparently, you know, I was heading on the way back, and this guy stopped me, so nonsense. It's been fixed. Next up, the surface. And where I can get some cranberries. I'm now able to get all of the cranberries from the desert. Or the desert. Hmm, cranberries. Cranberries. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was up with that. Anyway, uh, in this one, uh, I'm pretty much going to see what I can get. Ooh, a debilitator. Cast weak points randomly. I'll take it. I've got pretty much everything else. Yeah, buddy. Oh, uh, my, my eyebrow itched. Freaking MP juice. Okay. I'm good. Wait, hold on, let me see. I just noticed something. Let me let me look at the bottom there. So okay, yeah, there's only two party members that I've yet to find, and I get them in this part of the game. Uh well not this part of the game, it's pretty much the next part of the game. Or after the next part of the game. Because the next part of the game involves us going to another continent. And amazingly enough, it's in another different way. We're using Figaro Castle to go back to Konojin. I can never pronounce that town's name. But we're going to that town. And that's where we'll meet our next person. Sorry, I have something itching in my beard. But yeah, see, we go in through this. This time? No, okay, it's later. It's later after doing it, I guess, a few times, or uh, through a progression of time. Uh, you'll go back and forth in the, the castle and stop you halfway. And that's a good place to level up much later in the game. But now we're at the town that we need to go to, or near the town that we need to go to. It is right up here, I think, maybe? I think I missed it. I think I went, I think I didn't go far enough. But that's alright, I'm gonna go this way anyway. A moose. This is a moose, apparently. It's a plan. Um, you know what, since it's just a plan, we'll just drill it. Drill it. Boom. Yay! Alright. We'll continue heading up, because, uh, I did want to, since I was over here, I did want to show this off anyway. I'm going to be coming back here later, but there's a Colosseum. And as you can see, here's our old friend, Ultros. Look at me! I'm a receptionist! Wahaf! Wahaha! Now you better watch what you bet, or a master coupon will just come and take it from you. So they've gotten some sort of racket going on here. The more precious the item wagered, the better your prize will be. Um, I'm an Imperial Trooper. Probably the last of them. I have some valuable information for you. Talk to the Emperor twice. This, use this when you found the place where the Emperor hid a secret treasure. That makes no sense to me at this point, but uh, apparently it will at another point. Battles at the Colosseum are one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, but luckily there is an inn here, apparently. 
400 gil a night. No, I think we'll pass on that. I will, however, go in here and check out your mediocre tavern. This is my Colosseum. Finally, the whole world is at war. I'm so happy. And I owe it all to Kefka. Crazy bastard. Creatures from all over the world come here to compete. Okay. Get a load of the crowds. Get a load of the crowds. Okay, so they're they're just here for the crowds. Uh what's in here? Oh you someone's been pretending to be me. Don't be fooled. Yeah, I'm betting it's freaking you. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Let's go back to the where we're supposed to be going. Okay, it drops my frame rate slightly. Frame rate dip. Ooh, another new enemy. Deep Eyes. They're probably another, like, uh, flan type enemy. Okay, oh, well, they just do slow. And sleep! That's awesome. Good to know. Oh, wow. Okay. Wakey, wakey. I'm, like, trying to hold in my belches right now. I don't want to burp right into the freaking microphone. Because that would be disgusting and nobody wants that. Right? Right? I mean, a right? Right? Nobody wants that. Okay, you're not doing any damage right now. Ugh. So there's some things that apparently are not affected by holy. Great. You'd think in a world that's freaking this... Uh, what's a good term? Flubbed? Fubard? There we go. This, in a world this Fubard, holy damage would be, like, a key essential need, a must-have, and so on and so forth. Is, is that who I... Dude, bro. Bro, dude. Dude, bro. Setzer, you're alive! Come along with us. We're after Kefka. I don't know if I have it in me anymore. What are you saying? I'm just a gambler. I just want to be left alone. This world is too, too chaotic for me. What's worse is I've lost my wings. Oh, I'm gonna get some exposition. Exposition now. But before the world collapsed, you fought with all your heart. You were absolutely fearless. It was then. We can never go back to that world. Well, it was close enough to what it said, so shush, don't judge me. You want to live in the world as it is? No. Then do something about it. Yeah, you're right. Do something about it. Mwah! <laughs> Alright. You win. I'm starting to feel lucky. Starting to feel just a little bit lucky. Thanks. I needed that. Now let's go to Daryl's too. Why are we going to a tomb, sir? We're gonna get us another one. Airship, that is. Okay. Holy crap. Alright. It's gonna show us where this dungeon is. It's, like, right over there. The only problem with this dungeon... Oh my god, it is the hardest dungeon in this game. I, th I believe at this point. And considering the floating island, the floating continent, that's, that's rough, man. That's rough. So, uh, he might be the only one that we're gonna have susceptible to that if... Because we're definitely going to need some people with amulets. We need an amulet. Uh, oh, 
Oh, I don't have it. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm even willing to sacrifice... Oh, I don't have any more. If I can buy any more, I'm going to need at least one more. And that's just so that I can ensure that nobody gets turned into a zombie. Because that is the biggest, biggest problem in the next dungeon, is things just turning you into zombies, and then your whole party is a bunch of zombies. And of course, since they're all zombies, that's technically being annihilated, so have fun with that bullshit. Alright, so let's go find... Uh, there's uh, the shops. I need to go into the general store. That's what they're calling it. So, let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, I got plenty of revivify, so we're good. Just in case an off chance it actually happens. Ooh, well, Bard's hat, I've already got that. Okay. Alright. Don't really need anything there, so I think we need... Oh, okay. Um, shoot. Okay, I need to sell some stuff. I need to, I need to acquire more money. Luckily, I've, go, I've gotten a few p extra piece rings, so I can sell those, probably. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, I've got the weapons and stuff that I needed to do, get, or whatever, so... He will have a gold lance. He's already equipped with all the rest of that. I would equip the, the, the trump here, but that randomly KOs enemies, which is something I'm not going to want for this next dungeon. So I'm going to do something a little bit odd, and things that will probably make people in the comments go, why would you do that? Or maybe the real clever ones will be like, I see what you're doing there. But yeah, I'm going to equip the dice uh, until I get the other dice later on, because I, I turn Setzer into a demon in later levels, but that's after I have all the stuff I need. Uh, so we're going to equip him with a shield, uh, yeah, diamond helmet, diamond armor, so he is pretty much tankified. And I need to find a relic shop. That's the last thing I need to find. I need to find a relic shop. Where is the relic shop? Is it over here? It's probably over here. Nope. Watch this be the one town in the fucking entire game that does not have a fucking relic shop. I'm gonna be so irritated. I would be so irritated by that. But... There we go, I got that green beret, because I'm not sure if I... Obviously, I didn't get it in the first half of the game, so... Yay! There's no relic shop here. That is unfortunate. What is, what's this? There's a real mean guy fighting at the Coliseum. He looks... Here, he... Seems he's looking for a weapon called a striker. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. There's still some people with vision, even in this world. Like my brother up north. The guy running the Coliseum, right? That nut job? Okay. Grab that, because that's nice. It's always a nice thing. No? Can we fall asleep? No? Okay. What's this? Can I read this? Can I be a nosy person? No? No tea? Okay, so this is... This house is no, for nothing but just to me to get a fucking thing. Okay, so I guess I'll try the cafe to see if... He's selling relics. Hope. We must never give up hope. Well, thank you. I overheard your conversation. I, too, still have faith in this world. Oh, good. Good. It's good. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do 200. It's 400 up north. That is insane. We are not doing that. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of freaking 
intense when I go and do the Colosseum crap. Okay, uh, so everybody's healed up and everything. So we'll make our way to, uh, the tomb, tome, tomb, tomb, to the tomb. Oh yeah, I need to equip him with an Esper, don't I? I'm gonna give him Seraphim to start. Yeah, and that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. That'll be good. Let's move. Let's move on. But I refuse to give up. I'm going back to Narche. There's that frozen Esper. With you guys along, we'll be able to wake that thing up. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure we might be able to do that. Those beautiful days will never return. Don't say things like that. It'll happen, lady. I'll be here. Maybe not, like, that perfect or anything, but... The good days will come back. Yeah, they will. Crazy woman. Alright, so, I'm done there. So, now let us move south. As we fight a single... Freaking guy. Alright, so here's the dice. You just throw some dice, and depending on what the dice actually land on, the higher the number, the more the damage. So I rolled a three on two six sided die. So it's not really that great. But if we roll like two sixes, it's really nice damage. So that's pretty much it's all based on luck, and considering he's the gambler. What a better freaking what better fucking uh considering he's a gambler, what better weapon for him to have than those dice? Cause that is complete and utter chance. Sometimes he'll be great, sometimes he'll be alright, sometimes he'll just suck ass. This is the life of a gambler. I was a gambler in Final Fantasy XI when I used to play that on the uh, Xbox 360. I'm sure I probably could reactivate my account. Uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm sure I probably could reactivate my account for Final Fantasy XI and go back to playing it, but last time I played, I, I had a level 70 Blue Mage and I was on my way to trying to get that level, that limit break as they call it, which is a, pretty much allows you to go higher level. And I couldn't get it for the most part. Every time I try, I'd fail. It was pretty much like a 5% chance that I was actually going to fucking do it. But um, I actually started trying to level up some other classes and stuff, and because of uh, a recent update on the game, recent DLC that had been added, recent content, uh, it was bullcrap because you know, everybody was power leveling their classes there, and all the places where you start leveling up new classes were freaking dead zones. It was like wastelands. Monsters had taken over freaking the past kind of thing and everything. Terrible kind of thing. That's why I stopped playing Final Fantasy XI. Started going back to my old school root, the old school roots of playing Final Fantasy, old school Final Fantasy games like Six, which I've been loving playing on the channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching me play. I'm unfortunately going to be ending this episode right here. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please click the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really enjoyed it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. In the next episode, I'm going to walk up to this rock. Uh, apparently I'm doing it now. This person, she was your friend? Yeah, she was a piece of work. Nothing scared her. Click. But anyway, in the next video, could be anything lurking down here. So keep your eyes peeled. So anyway, in the next video, we will continue into this cave into Daryl's tomb and apparently get a new set of wings.
So, until that video, until that time, peace out. Hello, Internets. I'm Pink Deadpool, and welcome to my first ever top five list. Thanks, I guess. But in Germany, I'm from Kaiser. This is Maggie's and not just against the bite of Kaiser.